Hello, this is GeoTechLand, and today I'll be talking about Ubuntu Touch and the latest OTA 12 release, and just share some general news about UbiPorts and Ubuntu Touch itself. But before I get started, um, there are many ways to support my channel. The main two ways have been, you know, directly through Patreon or LibraPay. And another way to support me now is through Earth Hero. EarthHero.com is an online store that has products that are environmentally friendly and partners with companies that treat their workers a lot better. And I thought overall the values of this site align a lot with you know the values of you know the free and open source Linux world. I'll leave a link in the description below and a promo code as well. So onto the Ubuntu Touch OTA 12 release news here. If you've been watching my previous videos, you'll a lot of this will be familiar. Um, for example, one of the biggest changes made in terms of branding here is that the GUI on Ubuntu Touch, it normally has been called Unity 8, but as of recently, it is now switched to Lomiri. I think this is a positive change here just because I think it's it gives it its own unique name here and makes it easier to remember. You know, this update of Ubuntu Touch was one of the final changes Canonical themselves made. It's brought in a lot of new features here. If you haven't seen my most recent videos about Ubuntu Touch, it has a much different UI now, which is made to be more responsive. So it looks good on the phone. And if you plug this um, into a desktop monitor, you'll get a, a seamless experience in terms of the UI here. And I'm, I'm gonna cover a lot more of the phone itself in a later video and talk about you know the many, many apps you can find in Ubuntu Touch, you know, if you go to the open store here, there's a ton of apps that have come out in the past few months that, um, you know, testing out and just seeing what I want to put out there. Another change to Ubuntu Touch is that they're streamlining the UI itself, like the settings menus, um, as you can see here in the blog post. They've also been making improvements to the keyboard itself. You know, very little things that I think will just make the typing a lot better. And again, I'll test all of that in a later video. Of course, there's always updates to the Morph browser, which are, you know, a lot of them are under the hood here. You know, there are things that, you know, depending on how you use the phone and how you use the browser, you may not notice. But one big change is that um, in this release, it looks like they didn't get a later version of Qt Web Engine, which is what the Morph browser is based on. But that looks like that's slated for um, a release in OTA 13 here. So again, most of these changes are under the hood. And if you've been watching my previous videos, I've been on the Edge channel on my Nexus 5. It just wasn't as stable as it is now in this OTA 12 version. The other big news with UbiPorts is that they've, um, you know, obviously they've had this partnership with uh, the PinePhone community, and there will be a special edition of the PinePhone, and I guess they call it the UbiPorts edition, and it has a, you know, a unique back cover with the UbiPorts uh, symbol here. It's pretty much the same phone as the Braveheart edition, as far as I can see, just that it has this branding with UbiPorts. It's another positive uh, development here, as. Ubuntu Touch, I think, is a very stable OS, you know, especially in terms of the basics. I feel like it could already do very basic things very well. Kind of wish I would have gotten this version of PinePhone, but maybe a later version of the PinePhone, there'll be a, a UB Ports edition as well. Maybe I can, you know, get that one instead here. Other than that, that's pretty much it for UB Ports. There's a lot of interesting developments going on here. And I'll be testing Ubuntu Touch OS with all the, the most recent app. Let me know which apps you've used on Ubuntu Touch that you're curious about in the comments. And maybe I'll check those apps and, um, you know, share my thoughts on them. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.